Hello there, my name is Jessica Feudin, and today we will be exploring some of the exercises that we will do together in my active aging Pilates class. So we will begin seated on a chair that enables you to sit with your rib cage nicely stacked over the pelvis. You're always welcome to add a little pillow so that you can sit up taller. You're gonna cross one leg over the other and take your opposite hand and make it into a fist in order to massage the arch of your foot, this instep of your foot. My other hand is supporting the top of my foot. So often in Pilates, we begin with releasing muscles that are tight. It's all about bringing balance to your body, what your individual body needs. Go ahead and do this for a few more breaths. Inhaling, let's make a little more space in your spine, relax your neck. Exhaling to relax down into your chair, into the floor. Go ahead and place that foot on the floor. Notice any differences between the right and left side. And let's go ahead and switch. So this foot care is so important for just the health and longevity of our life, standing, walking, etc. Also really good for balance. We'll also be working on strengthening muscles, always integrating our breathing and core strength. And go ahead and rest that foot down. Might even wanna close your eyes. Allow your head to float a little bit side to side, loosening up there. Go ahead and put one hand on your belly. And if it's comfortable, one hand on your low back. So you're going to imagine that there's a string on your belly button and to engage your deep abs, pull that string back towards your hand back there. That's in your lumbar spine. Relax your belly, inhaling. Exhale, pull that string back to your hand again. So we're engaging the transversus abdominis, that deep abdominal wall, hugs in the organs, wraps around to the spine. So, so helpful for postural support and comfort in your body in general. All right, so we are going to do that every class. And now a hamstring stretch. Uh, we will often use the chair to support us while we're stretching, standing. So we're gonna face the side of the chair, hand on it for support. Press your standing foot down first, then reach your other leg up to the chair. Heel is resting. And if you have a hard surface on the seat of your chair, add a pillow if you like. So we're stretching the hamstring, the back of the thigh. We're gonna kind of trick it into letting go. Bend your knee, gently drawing your heel down into the chair. That should tone a little bit the back of the thigh. And then on your next exhale, stretch by straightening the knee as best you can with comfort in your knee joint. And imagine your thigh bone pulls toward your back pants pocket. Meanwhile, the heel reaches long. Let's do it one more time. Bend your knee, gently drawing your heel down into the chair. Meanwhile, we're all stacked up over the front portion of the standing heel. That's our plumb line here. On your next exhale, lengthen the leg again. And if this feels too easy, add a tiny bit of hip hinge. Otherwise, just stay with this. When you're ready to come out of the stretch, press your standing foot into the earth, then dismount off the chair. Go ahead and notice any differences between the two sides. And now press your new standing foot down into the floor, lift your other leg up onto the chair, bend your knee to activate the back of the thigh, holding it there. Notice your standing foot, see if you can allow the toes to relax a little longer, foot a little wider on the floor, and then lengthen. The thigh bone is nesting back toward the back pants pocket, heel reaching long. One more time, bend your knee, engaging the back of the thigh, the hamstring muscles, heel is gently drawing down into the chair. Next time you exhale, grow taller in your spine as you straighten that standing leg. And if you need more stretch, add a slight hip hinge, just make sure everyone that you're drawing your belly button to your neutral spine. One more breath, and then let's press our standing foot down to the earth in order to dismount. And we'll lie down on our mats. So I'm using a folded blanket for my mat. 
I like to use this, but you are also welcome to use a Pilates or yoga mat and be sure to use any towels or pillows that you need for support so that you can feel like you can relax down into the floor when you're lying down. So we're gonna loosen up the upper body. We're gonna pretend like we're taking up a sweater. You cross your arms across your chest, grabbing your imaginary sweater, pulling it up above your head, shrugging the shoulders up, and then exhale, relax your arms open and down. If you have tight shoulders, you might wanna, you might feel more comfortable allowing your arms to hover a little bit above the floor. What's your range of motion of your arms and shoulders if your head is relaxed, if your rib cage is sinking into the floor? If you're more flexible, you might be able to drag your arms along the floor, but don't force it. Keep going and see what it's like if you pull your belly button toward your spine, if you're not already. See if that changes the stretch at all. And one more time, I want you to end in the sweet spot, wherever you feel the most stretch, maybe it's here, maybe it's up here. And one big breath into the back of the rib cage and exhale, feel your bones sink down even more. One big breath into your chest and collarbone and exhale, sink the bones down. We're gonna to roll to our sides to come up onto all fours. And that exercise, by the way, is really good for increasing your capacity for your breathing. So making more space for your inhalations. So you can see I'm folding up my blanket because I like how it feels on my knees and it also takes pressure off of my feet. You may also put a pillow there or maybe you're just fine without. Check and make sure your knees are in line with your hip sockets. We're in a neutral cat position or all fours and we'll stay neutral in our low back, that natural curve there. Pull your belly button toward your natural curve of your low back and feel your palms firm down into the floor with your shoulders sliding down away from your ears or in other words, toward your hips. You're gonna press into the earth, pull the belly in and hover one leg back slightly behind you. Can you do that without shifting to the side? So think of keeping your nose and your belly button on the same line. One more breath here and return. Reset, shoulder slide down toward your waist, belly button pulls in and hover the other leg slightly behind you. This challenges our ability to draw in the abs and to not deviate from that center line, our central axis, pressing into the earth. And so eventually what we end up doing in class is adding the opposite arm or extension or movement, but today we'll just stick with that hovering leg. All right, join me in standing. And as you transition, I invite you to push into the earth, even if that means today, using your chair for a little support. Push down into the chair, push down into the earth to come up to standing. So I'm standing with my feet in parallel. So toes pretty much pointing forward. And then I take one step forward and pause there. You can see I just have natural hip socket width space between my legs. I'm gonna press my footprints down into the earth. And what I mean by that is your feet grow wider, toes grow longer, equal weight between your right and left leg, reach your arms out to the sides. There we go. And you're gonna circle your arms without leaving your plumb line. So we're not thrusting the chest, we're not tipping. We're just trying to get longer and longer on that central axis. See if you can reach your arms a little bit behind you and feel your shoulders slide down your back each time. Go ahead and take another step forward and we'll do the same thing with your circles in reverse. So maybe standing with a split step, one foot forward feels too precarious or doesn't feel comfortable for you. You can do this with your feet right under your hip sockets and focus on the mobility of your arms, belly button drawing in towards your spine. If you really pull that in the whole time and send your breath all around the rib cage, it's still beneficial. Finish your last circle, relax your arms down by your sides. Everybody's standing with your feet right under your hip sockets. Close your eyes 
or just soften your gaze if that feels better for you. And notice your feet meeting the floor, space in your spine, head floating at the top of the spine. One more big breath into your body. Send your inhale where you want to make space and exhale, relax into the earth. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you next time.